damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. Hey everyone, Joel Lancer here. Today we are driving, no joke, to Gladiator Burger. That's right, so we're going to Gladiator Burger. So this is a burger restaurant also specializing in cheesesteaks, and they have a couple locations in and around uh, kind of that GTA area. So I know they have a couple in uh, Mississauga, like we're going today, one in uh, Brampton, etc. So what we're going to be doing today, a 40 inch, that's right, 40 inch cheesesteak. I've never had or even seen a cheesesteak near that big. Um, so this is going to be absolutely massive. If you're not familiar with the cheese steak, cheese steak is essentially like a steak, like steak sandwich uh, with cheese. So cheese steak. Uh, a lot of them, you know, kind of originating the whole like Philly cheese steak thing. It's kind of like the call it the OG. But yeah, super excited to have a cheese steak. I know they have a whole bunch of different unique kinds. Like they have ones with like pineapple on them, um, roasted red peppers. So. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all the ingredient options we have. I'm sure I'll pick something um, to my palate, to my preference, but I'm super excited. I love cheesesteak. I know these are made with like ribeye meat, which is even better. So yeah, pumped, 40 inch cheesesteak, giant, giant, giant sandwich essentially, giant steak sandwich essentially. So let's go. Uh, we're gonna have, I believe it's 30 minutes to do this. Um, so definitely a lot of food, not a lot of time, but I'm excited. I love cheesesteaks. It's been a while since I did cheesesteaks challenges. It may only be my second, actually, to be honest. So let's get driving and let's go eat some food. So here we are with the biggest cheesesteak I've ever seen in my life. This thing is a whopping 40 inches long. That is right, 40 inch cheesesteak. So this is kind of a rendition of one of their uh, classic cheesesteaks they have on the menu, which is really cool. Um, I actually got pineapple on this. That was my own addition, but I think it'll be really good. We got pineapple, we have their gladiator sauce, we have their chipotle sauce, uh, like mayonnaise, by my own choice. They have the uh, lovely cheddar mozzarella cheese, all real cheese on this as well. Um, I actually got some tomatoes, just because we need some healthy vegetables. And interestingly, pickles is one of the items they have on some of the cheesesteaks, so I added pickles as well. So basically at that, we're gonna get started. It's a big, big, big cheesesteak. I have never had a 40 inch cheesesteak in my life. I've never even seen a 40 inch cheesesteak in my life. So that, basically, let's get started. It should be a lot of fun. And uh, with that, let's get eating. All right, so I could technically start on like an end, or a middle. I think I'll probably start on the end. I think it just makes the most sense. So, wish me luck, everybody. Uh, I don't have a timer per se, but I'll just go by the one on screen. Should be enough. So, all right. So let's get started. How about we say the count of five? Ooh, it seems good. Uh, lots of onions and mushrooms on this as well. So let's uh, let's stay at kind of three, two, one. Let's get eating. Pickles actually just really good on the cheesesteak. Mm. Very moist. Ooh, oh yeah, there's jalapenos on here. I forgot about that. That's spicy. Bread's really good too. 
Hey everyone, welcome to this video, and today we are at Gladiator Burger taking on this warrior cheesesteak. And this thing was absolutely giant. Literally a whole whopping 40 inches. Yes, 40 inches. So by far the biggest cheesesteak I've ever seen. But I will also go to say, probably maybe the most delicious cheesesteak too. Definitely some spice wool. So the place has a really unique number of cheesesteaks on the menu. Some of them again having like pickles, uh, red peppers, um, you know, pineapple, etc. So I kind of threw in a couple um, I, of the kind of the really unique items that I saw fit on all the unique cheesesteaks and put it together for this one, which I will say turned out really, really well. That pineapple, a little bit of sweetness. Great addition. I cut it into four too, by the way. I figured it'd make it a lot easier to try to navigate one big thing. So for this challenge, we only had a mere 30 minutes to actually eat this beast of a monstrous cheesesteak. Um, there were uh, multiple pounds of ribeye steak on it, which I will say were just absolutely so tender. So, so, so soft, so tender. Like by far, I would honestly say the best quality cheesesteak I've ever had. And I've even tried a cheesesteak in Philadelphia. And although this, of course, was a little bit different, a little bit leaning away from the traditional style of cheesesteak or the traditional Philly cheesesteak. Um, like, compared to any cheesesteak I've ever had in my life, this was by far the most enjoyable. Just the meat was so tender, so soft, so juicy. Um, and I've had a lot of cheesesteaks claiming to be ribeye, but this legit seemed like ribeye. If you love that dark, beefy, taste that just succulent melt in your mouth just oh my gosh it was so good so yeah seriously cannot speak enough to the quality of the meat on this uh, cheese steak itself meat's really good too actually really tender i'm impressed and yes i would recommend pineapple and even pickles on a cheese steak it's a good combo innovative the bread was also really nice and soft, definitely to my preference. I'm not a big fan of like dry, thick, you know, overly crusty, let's say breads or buns on like my sandwiches. So this was absolutely perfect. Um, everything had so much moisture to it. The sauces on it were excellent. Kind of like the sweet mayonnaise, the sweet aioli, a really cool addition. Um, but yeah, seriously, just like, and who would have even known that pickles tasted good on a cheesesteak? Cause yes, that's even a thing at that. I also have to give a huge shout out to the staff. The staff were very friendly, very accommodating. Um, but pretty much, I believe that's most of the information I have for you today. A very, very delicious cheesesteak. Um, no complaints in that regard. Absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it. Like, really, having a good tasting item really makes a challenge go easier, go quicker. And that's what happened here. So that'll let you get the rest of the video. Hopefully, we can finish this thing up. And uh, ultimately, let's tune on in and see what happens. It's actually really good. Yeah. We're about, uh, about five minutes in. Coming to a close. Got some bread left. A little bit of shrapnel. Spicy though, jalapenos. They have a good kick today, but mm. pineapple. On Tuesday, we're talking about.
and we are finished. Probably about six and a half minutes, 6.40. Very, very good, actually. I was super impressed. This cheesesteak was fantastic. I've had a lot of cheesesteaks in my life, and this one was definitely very moist, very juicy. The flavors were great. I really like the innovative ingredients, like, again, the ability to have pineapple. Excuse me. The sauces on it were fantastic as well. I basically used no water. I used one bottle for that whole thing. That just goes to show how nice and moist and juicy it was. And that bread was great too. Very soft and delicious. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Very, very good. So yeah, um, Gladiator Burger, check them out. So I can say their cheesesteaks are fantastic. Obviously they have burgers as well. Um, they have like, two Miss they have two Miss Saga locations, they have a bread location. So yeah, lots of locations, or maybe a couple more. So definitely, check them out. Until next time everybody, just, that's it. Say happy, healthy, hungry. I just spilled my water on the floor. What of that, I wanna pretend that didn't happen. And of course, until next time. Grab yourself a shirt though. I throw it. These shirts just have superpowers. Absolute superpowers. Well, that everybody, till next time, of course. Say happy, healthy, hungry. Happy eating. That's about it. Hit that like button. Let me know if you'd eat a cheesesteak like this down below. Hashtag Team Cheesesteak. Until next time, everybody. Thank you. Dang now the cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day. <laughs>